Welcome to the Hey Queen After Show. Look at her! Yes! Today's guest has just revealed his identity on the Hey Queen main show. It's Jizz, a.k.a. Evil Jeff, a.k.a. Jeff McCubbin! Put your mask up so people can recognize you, for God's sake. Oh! Ooh. Oh, that's who there it is. There she is. That's who it is. It's Jizz. It's fucking Jizz. Oh, my God. Lady Red is Jizz. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you've missed the main show, you missed a lot because Jizz revealed his secret identity and told us about his side career working as creative director of Randy Blue and Lady Red accepted Gay Wee Ho's Fried Chicken Challenge. The challenge was they brought her two big old boxes of puppy fried chicken. A puppy fried chicken. A puppy. <laughs> fried chicken, <laughs> though she would eat puppy fried chicken, I'm pretty <laughs> sure she would. Uh, Lady Red, how's the challenge going over there? It's good. I'm on my second box. <laughs> um, uh, in the back, Todd's still mad that he only got one piece. <laughs> Can I talk? Yes, Todd! <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm just cleaning out my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Our writer Todd said, they brought it for everyone. <laughs> they brought it for everyone. Buttons on the right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a look at hot time, Jeff, it's which amazing. means we're going to show you some pictures of people that you've worked with or that you've parodied in your case, as well as porn stars you've worked with. And you'll uh, spill a little tea, tell a little story, okay. you know, give us a little something um, about the huh that you're looking at. Okay. Sound good? Amazing. All right, and feel free to side read people as jizz if okay. you like. Okay, <laughs> and uh, where do I look when I look at You'll her? look at her on the monitor. Oh, amazing. Yes, and now it's time to look at her. I believe that is uh, Chris Rockway. Mm-hmm, yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Chris Rockway. Chris Rockway. Legendary Randy Blue porn star. He's been doing it for almost nine years. Wow. Isn't that insane? That's, that's a whole lot of dick that's been in that man. Yeah. Well, he more puts it in. Yeah, but still, he's just had a <laughs> dick adjacent all the time, not just his own one. Ah, uh, he... Now, I he used to be to your die. fantasy as, a, as a, young, a young man. A young man. Before you were the creative director yes. of Randy Blue. Yes, and I just to think of like uh, how if, if I came to my younger self was like, your fantasy, Chris Rockway, 10 years from now, he will be annoying the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he drives, I love him, but he drives me crazy. What does he do that drives you crazy? He's very intelligent, but he won't let it Go. He's like this staunch atheist. He's so you're on set and people are trying to get hard and he's just like, and the other thing about global warming and how the world's gonna end. And you're like, no, we're all trying to be sexy. Let's keep it sexy. It's boner time, bro. Yes, it's boner and then time. he's like, no, here's another reason why there, is, there isn't a God. And I'm gonna, <laughs> Ooh, mm, it just makes mm, it a little. It makes it a little difficult. Sounds good stuff. Have you ever had? Uh, have you ever seen a, a religious a fight over religion on a porn set? It is no. a very fascinating. <laughs> I won't say who he was fighting with, but there was a point where uh, one model was warming up with a big dildo. And he <laughs> identified as a Christian. Oh, okay. <laughs> was it a cross style dildo or with a cross on the end? No, it mm. wasn't. But he was waving the dildo, <laughs> going, I believe in Jesus. Wow. While Chris Rockway was staunchly saying that God didn't exist. And then they had to fuck each other. And then they had to have sex with wow. each other. Wow. <laughs> I should have put that in the video. You should have. I mean, that'd be at least be a bonus. But yeah. <laughs> Look at her. Ah, uh, Jordan Levine. Mm. Who I, oh, I that man, what a ooh, that everything about that. Because <laughs> of those tattoos, I I named him, and I named him because I thought he reminded me of Adam, like a, the big muscular brother of Adam Levine. Oh, good one. And then people would write in and be like, "Is that really Adam Levine's brother?" <laughs> <laughs> As if that, like, oh, if Adam Levine's brother decided to do porn, he would he would use his real name. It oh, of course he would. And he'd get, he he guest star on The Voice. 
But uh, I ah. love I love Jordan. I love him. He's 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 amazing. Mm. He, uh, he can we get him full screen for a second there <laughs> in the booth? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, um, yeah. He identifies as straight, but when he comes to set, that whole thing I had said previously in the other interview about like you need to be gay, mm -hmm. he goes. All the way gay. He goes all the gay, way gay. All the way gay for pay. Yeah, he's a delight to work with. Mm. A delight. Wonderful. I tell you. Mm. Look at all. Diego Sands. Oh, Diego. He is like the class clown of porn. He's the guy who's always joking. He's he's at the top of his game. He can get, if the if if the wind blows the right way, he'll get hard. Oh, that's um, very so good. So he's very easy to work with, but he's also just constantly making jokes. Uh, he's he he is a big old hey queen. All right uh, then. So he's hey super, Diego. He's super fun to work hey, with. Wah, wah, wah. He's super fun to work with. Mm. I have nothing bad to say. Well, I guess I kind of You don't have to say bad I things. I kind of shit on uh, Chris Rockway a little you bit. You shit on Chris Rockway yeah, one time? Go. That's oh. interesting. Uh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, that. He did. He oh. did. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her! Oh, Colby the elusive, Keller. mysterious, and beautiful. Colby Keller. He was the first person that I became friends with him first. And we were friends through Jizz, like he was a fan of Jizz. Uh -huh. And then I convinced him to come and do a scene. So it was oh. the first time I had a friend uh, that I knew beforehand that I then had to direct in a scene. It was a. Uh, it was very strange. Oh. You're like, hey, uh, when yeah. we do this, remember that time we went out to dinner? And yeah, you said that thing yeah. about that? I want you to think about that as you're eating this <laughs> Exactly, exactly. But he's the quintessential professional. What is a, I, I've never met, even though he did appear in the Texting on the Dance Floor video, we never yeah. met. Uh -huh. What is he like in person? He seems, he's such a, like I said, mysterious enigma and beautiful and interesting. And he's traveling around the country having sex with different people for his art project slash pornography. Yes, he's very he's great. very serious about his art. He's very intelligent. And he's also very, he's very dirty. He's mm. very, uh, but he's also a big slut. You know, it's the best, you know, artist slut. It's the best a artist slut is that, the best combination. It's the best combination. Uh -huh. yeah. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that the picture from there, he did a scene with a guy named uh, Jarek Wentworth, who he, he oh, yeah. called me and said, you're working with that Sean Cody model, move to Randy Blue. He's like, get me a scene. Wow. You put, get you me, make it happen. Make it happen. And I made it happen. Oh, and then they made it happen. And they made it happen. Mm, that, that was he hot. is good. There's those moments. He's one of those performers where you just, you just turn the cameras on and you sit back and, and you let them. You don't have do to do it. too much directing. He does it all. His yes. penis directs it. Exactly. Mm, that's good. Exactly. But he is a he is a sweater. I will say that's his downside. He's very sweaty. Oh, some people love that. You have to constantly, you know, pat him down, pat, pat him dry. Down. You're glistening again. Yes, exactly. Colby, you're glistening again. Yes. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> oh, here she is. Well, just uh, oh, Paula Dean. Paula oh, Dane. I love Paula Dean. Oh God, she's my hero now. I used to watch her cooking show because it was the most disgusting. <laughs> it was just the most disgusting things. It was literally like, here's my recipe for peas. Take peas and a stick of butter. And here are the peas. <laughs> like, there you go. That's the end of that. I love I'm her. I'm rich! Yeah. I think when that whole thing came out, I mean, just the idea of the, how everyone was so offended that an elderly woman from the South was racist. Uh -huh. How everyone was like, what? Like, you're like, no, of course, of course she is. Mm -hmm. I would have been more surprised if she was, if she wasn't. Mm -hmm. I think, it, yeah. So that night, I almost didn't release the Paula Deen video. Oh, really? I thought it was terrible, and I thought it was stupid, and I was like, this is dumb. I just did it one, like, right after the whole thing happened, I knew, I had seen that Jelly Roll video, and I, d I dubbed over it, like, one night, and was like, this is dumb. I'm not going to do it. And then I... Usually when I say something is so stupid and ridiculous, I'm like, it probably means I have to put it up. Right. And I put it up, and then I think like a world star hip hop put it up. and then Who I, knew kinda... that world star hip hop would be your greatest supporter to your yeah. biggest hit video? <laughs> ah! Thank you. <laughs> Lady Red, what, what are your thoughts on Paula Deen? We've never had that conversation. Let's get the black perspective up here. I mean, I think that Paula Deen is I mean, for real, what the fuck? Like, what did you expect from this bitch? She sucks butter for a living. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, that says it all. Look at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Willem. Yeah, you did. Uh, you did a couple collaborations with Willem yes. for for Jizz. Yes, she reached out to me and was like, "I'd love to work with you." I'm like, uh, "Yeah." Yeah. Okay. And I was like, "I'll write a song for you," and uh, I wrote. Um, um, uh, why am I blanking out right now? I wrote uh, K the Katy Perry song, um, Unconditionally. Oh, right, and you called it? Uh, only Anally. Yes, you did. And, uh, and she, and she, like, we got her whole, like, crew that, that, that does the music, and it was the first time I felt like an actual professional person, because we were, like, in the recording studio right. and doing it, and we're, like, trying to nudge the lyrics, like, no, hit Anally right there. Oh, it was, it was amazing. <laughs> but she is just, she was, she's inspiring because she's just, she has this drive in her. Like, she's fucking unstoppable. She's so smart. Uh -huh. Like, she likes to play the, like, ditzy, uh -huh. but she's so <laughs> fucking smart and she knows exactly what she's doing. And she's such a, she's such a pleasure to work with. Bitch got it. a plan. Mm -hmm. And she made fun of her own beardiness in your video because... She, the character she played was like a rock star with a big main man. And when she came out, when you kind of mixed the cartoon with footage of her, yeah, she was she giving the you beard. the beard, yeah, the yeah. beard action. Yeah, people gave her shit for it. And she's like, watch the actual video of the cartoon and like, see who Just I'm watch the cartoon, the video yeah. that you guys shot. Because yeah. she looks exactly like the guy. But that was so fun. We just like went to her house one, one day and just, I had like script to write for her. And then, uh, and then at the very end, I'm like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go and just improv. And I just started fucking talking and just started <laughs> going with her. And she just kept on laughing. And I think if you listen to the very end of the video, it's just me talking and her laughing and <laughs> just trying to talk back. Oh, it was so much fun. Well, that is good. Jeff, thanks for pulling a stunt queen move and being revealed Thank on Thank you. Hey queen. Only for you. God Only for bless. You, Johnny. I love it. Lady Red, are you still alive or do you have a heart attack from all that fried chicken? Oh, no, I would never have a heart attack. You know, you just take a, a minute to burp, fart, and then you return back to the chicken. <laughs> all right, then. Now we know how to eat 25 pieces of fried chicken during one show. We did it. <laughs> Todd said 26 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. If you haven't caught Jeff's full interview on Hey Queen, make sure to click the link. And otherwise, we'll see you back on Hey Queen and Look It Up next week. Bye, baby. Yeah.